spectacle. <laughs> if I ever... Good morning, you guys. Today's Tuesday. I'm running late, and even when I'm running late, I decided to pick up the camera. What? Anyways, check out the earrings. These look really cute on. Um, I hope I talked to you guys yesterday. You saw the earrings from yesterday. This is the blazer. This is the outfit. I don't have my shoes on. Um, but I'm loving the oversize. I thought it was going to fit a little bit tighter. But honestly, the more it's on, it's giving. With the hair, it's giving. I can't say what it's giving, but I think it's giving it to the people. Um, I think it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, um, especially with the red lip. So, just wanted to come on, come on and speak to you guys this morning. I uh, headed in the office, have e board meeting this evening, and I believe that's it. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit. Hope you guys are having a good day. You talking to me? Oh, I was like, did I miss it? No. Finally, the end of the evening. <clears throat> okay, then. The end of the evening. Daniel's in bed. And we did not do a whole lot today. Um, My day started out really, really. My day started out pretty, pretty good. At, well, technically last night, I, um, can y'all see that? I still use grease, whatever. It works on my scalp. Really, the theoretically, grease is not good for silky hair. Um, like relaxed stuff like that. But for natural hair, uh, yes, absolutely. The key to the grease is, of course, you have to be sure that you're actually going to. Um, see, I got a spot. I knew I had a spot right there in my hand because um, I hadn't been greasing it well. Um, the key to using the grease is you just have to make sure that you use products that you can, um, whew, that you can, that, sorry, what am I trying to say? Use, oh, I thought my battery was about to die. Use products like when you wash your hair um, to really get all that buildup and stuff off your scalp and off your hair and then it'll be totally fine like yeah so I'm back using grease um, I actually use some oil on my on my hairline um, the other day and 
I can tell I don't like it. Y'all probably, y'all see that right there? Yeah, it started getting irritated and stuff. And so I was like, yeah, back to the grease we go. Because my scalp gets really, really dry um, and flaky. And so I really need that thick coating on my scalp. So that it's not super flaky. But yeah, anywho, um, I stayed up last night, which was Monday night, because I got so hooked at reading my book on rotation, and baby, it was 12, and my husband had closed, and he ended up coming in talking to me, and before I know it, it was 12 o'clock, child. And I had to take a melatonin and everything. Um, so that was that. So, when I woke up this morning, I kind of was in a really slowful mood anyway. And then, for whatever, well, not whatever reason, I really, y'all remember yesterday I was telling you how I felt like some members of the organization that I'm president of were being really disrespectful and talking to me like, being just really like disrespectful to me. And I am the minority of that organization and I really try not to pull like the it's because I'm black card but also <laughs> I noticed that nobody else is being spoken to in the manner that I'm being spoken to and so I really felt the way and so it still really didn't I was able to go to bed and go to sleep and stuff like that and everything was fine but I really woke up with it still on my mind. And I knew then, it was that that moment, I gotta try not to do so thick because it be having that crease in my hair and I'd be mad. Um, this is day two of the braid out. And um, yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna talk out of this, but what I'm trying to say is, and I'll cut stuff that I'm not saying much about. Um, See, I was about to do too much again. Um, and so I woke up feeling some type of way again about it this morning. And I was like, okay, so I really feel the way. And so what I was going to do was if it were to happen again, I was going to address the person. But I was hoping that, you know, maybe it wouldn't. And so then there was an incident this morning where um, typically a good amount of these people are stay at home like moms and stuff and there's nothing wrong with that but I just feel like sometimes they forget that majority of people work and we're trying to like build we've got a lot of people who are like members as far as like on the roster they're paying members but we don't have a lot of people who are actually helping out and I think honestly the way times are this is the ponds I think the way times are, it's just that more people are working and some people just don't want to be a part of something that is going to be an extra thing on their plate. And so when things are seeming like extra time constraints or just something else they got to do, they're just really not going to want to do that. Um, and, you know, I chose to be a part of PTA because, well, darn, I didn't say it, let me leave that out. Um, and I, everybody has their different reasons or why they choose to be a part of the organization but yeah so pretty much the point that I was making it was something that I tried to be mindful even as me being president that when I need a quick response I try to be respectful of other people's time and don't need something that needs a quick turnaround that at the very least and granted when things happen you gotta get you gotta do what you gotta do but I at least try and if possible at least say hey can I have a response by end of day at least 24 hours I think that's that's doable in respect to people's time and so it was like what was needed was like right in and I choose as an officer to not have even my emails and things linked to my phone because I know me I feel like with it being on my phone I feel like I'm obligated to respond even when it's outside of the time that I have dedicated to this task. So, I don't put it on my phone and I feel like I was stating that, you know, I wouldn't get back to it. And if, I thought I was just doing my part and communicating, hey, you know, you're not going to get a response to me until much later because, you know, I just don't have access to it right now. 
And I just think it wasn't a problem then. It would have just been like, oh, no worries. You know, it's fine when you can. But it was really almost like, can you do this right now? Because I'm trying to do this like before a main type of situation. And so I was just saying that, you know, be mindful that everybody just may not have be readily available to respond to things right then. And instead of that just being, being okay, it was like pushback. And granted, no, you don't have to like everything I say because I'm not going to like everything you say. That is cool. But it's like you felt the need to come for me in this group setting. And part of me wanted to be the bigger person and just, you know, talk to said person outside of the group. But I was like, oh, no. You decided to cause a spectacle in front of everybody, and so I am too, respectively. So I said what I said, and then, you know, also at the same time, I'm not about to go back and forth with you, but if you would like to further discuss this matter, we can talk about this offline. Of course, nobody ever wants to talk to nobody one-on-one. People love to come for people in a group setting, which really pisses me off. So I feel like that situation, and I think in normal, in normal times, I would just, like, go ahead and say what I gotta say and be done with it without a witty flash stuff. But I think in the manner of me being the minority, I'm being the other. And I was like anybody else is being treated this way. It really made me feel away. It really put me in a mood like all day today. Because it's not like not on some it's like this check me or nothing. It's all the principle of that I feel like you're not treating anybody else like this. And now, like, I don't deserve to be treated like that because I'm, I'm giving, this is volunteer. Like, I'm not being paid to do this, and I just don't appreciate it. I really did one. And so, it really put me in a bad mood today. But luckily, I was, they was home and cook, and I was able to catch up on some vlogmas videos and brighten my mood. And so now, I'm about to... Take me a good old shower and catch up on Mary to medicine. But I just wanted to chit chat with you guys as I get undressed because I didn't give you guys much content today. And that's the real reality of it that a day of my life when I'm really busy, um, you may not get a lot of content. We know that, but you in my life for 25 days and we don't always be lit all the time. <laughs> and that's that. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video so that I can wind down in hopes that I didn't get myself all racked up telling y'all the story. I definitely didn't mean to talk about this for 10 minutes, but we here. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.